Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to a brand new installment in our No Buff Rift Clear series. Today, we will be tackling another rift, and we're basically going through these sequentially at this point, assuming that they unlock in an order that I can access them in whatever numerical format they have. And that is the case for today, because we will be having a look at the level 26 Extreme Trial Defeat Loki. And this one, is a little bit tricky and you need to know what you're looking for in order to get the full clear here. And a lot of it revolves around the second clear condition, which is defeat eight enemies. The reason that this is tricky is because there aren't a whole lot of enemies that are present in this particular challenge. You've got the main fighter, Loki, and you have a couple of his shadow clones that he brings in that uh, are significantly weaker, uh, but they also don't spawn in with a lot of frequency. And so you've got to be mindful of where the main Loki is in the stage and kind of intentionally move away from him and attack into the Lokis that are not near where he is with your extreme attacks because the extreme attacks are the only meaningful use of damage or the only meaningful damage dealer in this particular rift. So odds are, unless you have a very, very heavy hitting team, you are going to need to run this multiple times in order to get the full clear condition. And you will be seeing both iterations of that in the footage here today. So the biggest thing that I did mention just now that you need to be cautious of is moving away from the main Loki, because as soon as you take him down, the fight is over and it's concluded. And the other clones of Loki will not start to spawn in until you reach the second phase where you get him down to that initial break in his health bar. So you will need you so you will at least need to focus him down that far. The other thing that's really good to mention here, you're gonna see it here in a few minutes, but if you are uncertain of how you are doing but if you are uncertain of how you are doing in terms of taking down those opponents and eliminating them to get the eight enemies defeated, you can always hit the pause menu and then press Y on the pause menu and it will bring up the clear conditions for you to have a look at. So if you're confused as to whether or not you've hit enough enemies, you can take a breather, figure out how many more you need to take down and then resume the remainder of the fight. And that is definitely something that I wanted to do here because there's a lot of chaos going on, especially with trying to keep my characters alive, along with making sure that the attacks that I am dealing are not being focused too heavily on the main fighter in order to get those clears out of the way. So uh, really a lot to keep your eyes on and uh, that with all of those things going on, I just did not have the focus needed in order to keep track of what opponents I had taken down. If you can, that's great, but if not, there is a built-in way for you to check how you're doing and what progress you've made in the course of that fight. So you will want to use your abilities to break down the stagger gauges for these opponents because in order to deal meaningful damage with your extreme attacks, you do want to have those characters whittled down or in a vulnerable state to the point where at least with the clones, you can take them down in one shot once they are rendered vulnerable, or you can actually get in meaningful damage against the main Loki once you are attacking into him and trying to focus him down for that eighth and final kill. So among using synergy attacks, heavy attacks, and standard attack sequences, you see me bouncing around a couple of times through these different opponents. And if you're looking for the eight character takedown, the other big key piece of advice that I would offer is try and rotate through the characters that you're using your extreme attacks on. So you have ideally at least two of them online for hitting into one or multiple targets. And this is where Black Panther doesn't really help as much as he probably could, because as powerful as a character as he is, his extreme attack is on the weaker side. Uh, he makes up for it, more than makes up for it, in a lot of other areas, but his extreme attack isn't particularly great at whittling down these characters. But between Hulk, Wolverine, and Psylocke, there's a lot of power to get out of the extreme attacks there, for sure. Once you have done the defeat eight enemies portion of this fight, and you're gonna see me run this back, 
if you're not seeing that already. Uh, the biggest thing is you've just got to focus in on Loki the second time you go around and this time instead of keeping in mind where he is to avoid him, you need to follow where he is so you can burn him down as quickly as you can once you have those extreme attacks online. And try to bring your opponents in to basically be right on top of him as you make those strides and strikes against him. You're going to end up detonating your extreme attacks a couple of different times, but the extreme attacks charge incredibly quickly in this mode, so you don't really have to worry about running out of resources for using those particular attacks. So, uh, really a lot to go into here. It's chaotic, but it's also kind of fun, and if you're not using the no buff category that I am, you can basically run this portion of this rift forever, uh, assuming that you have specced into regeneration based off of damage dealt from extreme attacks, because with these type of boosted scenarios, you are going to basically heal exactly back up to full from whatever health point you're at as you detonate those attacks, assuming that you do make contact with your opponents when doing so. But that is really the biggest points of strategy that you need to go into. Again, I do these as a bit more of a skill check and challenge for myself, and we were able to get the three stars cleared on these uh, on this particular rift. There have been a couple in the past that we've struggled on, but uh, these ones, as long as you know what to expect when going into them, are actually fairly simple to pull off. I do think that that is going to be everything that I wanted to talk about for today's video though. So if you enjoyed this little breakdown and challenge that we did today, make sure that you hit that like button as that really helps. And be sure to subscribe if you're not already. If you've made it this far into the video, it's obvious you like to hear me talk and I'd greatly appreciate it if you were subscribed to catch the daily variety content that is coming your way as I do work fairly hard on that. and. Uh, Apologize for the audio that's got the reverb on it. That's going to be resolved. It should be resolved as of tomorrow in the videos that you see coming out there and going forward. So thanks so much for your time, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Take care, everyone.